Okay, we're back. Just a few long play games. We'll go back into some short play games as well. Those quick things. We've done the tournament thing for a bit now, the long play games. And, ooh, ah, yeah. Doesn't mean it's wrong when they bring the bishop here. It just looks, looks a bit funky, but yeah, you're not winning anything majorly. It's exciting because you think, oh, you're blocking the center pawn type thing, but it it's not that much. So we'll take the pawn and because we can't hit anything apart from putting a check on the queen here. Knight defense. So it makes you feel like you're going in there and getting strong. Bishop comes back even, fair enough. So it looks like we, we can't even get the pawn because if we do take, then obviously... The queen goes here, and then the knight can't take. So that's why I say it's no real point in getting twisted about it. We could develop the queen, but that looks like it's getting a bit arty to me. And bishop could come out and attack, but if we did do that, we'd be down a tempo, and the bishop would take, so we'd lose the knight. So we could go simple take, and then he just developed the knight, and then we get the pawn, but I think he'll take with the queen, because the queen is supporting. And there's no other attacks on the pawn apart from the queen coming here. Gives them something to think about. And their knight comes out and maybe, no. Okay, we'll give that a shot. Let's go here. Let's go here. Two on one. Pushes the pawn to defend. And that's it, really. So no great shakes. You know, with the bishop coming here, it looks odd. But they find a way of getting something back somewhere. So once that does that, then the bishop can come here and attack the uh, queen. So really, it's just a matter of maybe just going for castling. Might be on the king's side. It's just he does have this half open file here. And they're not actually doing that. So we get the queen off the board, I suppose. Is there anything else before we jump there? I think we just go for the queen then, don't we? Let's take the pawn. So it'll be up a pawn. Doesn't have to take, but the only thing defending is the king. Okay, let's take anyway. Let's not get carried away with too much fancy. Do we make space for castling? I think we'll go for the castling. Let's just bring the bishop out, tack in the knight. Again, if we get the opportunity to take the knight, well, they're going to give us the opportunity. So then they're not, well, the knight could take, the rook takes, they're not castling on the king side. Okay, so they're not castling on the king side. We can go and castle ourselves. I think I'm going to do that just based off of recent experience. Just castle. And maybe just push this to maybe, oh, Mm -hmm. all right don't need to rush it so we've got our plan set in to try and just block the pawn <clears throat> excuse me so we could dance the knight here but it's not really going anywhere after that it's attacking the pawn the pawn just drops i think just bring the knight then we can touch the bishop if we need to like we said they do have this half open file so I hope we don't rue the day that we did that. Knight could come here attacking the pawn. But we don't really want to overwork that. We want to try and get this knight out into the game. We really wanted to push this pawn to block the pawn. So I think that's the first move I'm looking to do. Depending on what the opponent does, of course. I think they'll be going for the queen. Oh no, they're attacking, giving us something to think about. Let's attack the bishop. So just weather the storm. We have our plan in, in place. Try and get the knight out. So there's no rush there. So let's just push the pawn like we said. They have queenside castle. So they'll be looking to probably put some pressure on this pawn with the rooks. Let's get the knight up like we said. Probably sit here quite nicely. Knight takes, open up the rook space. 
bishop's gone back they've not gone for any protection of any types i think we're going to continue with this and take with this pawn if the knight takes let's take so we've got the open file like they said we're going to focus on that so we're going to bring the rook here see if we can sink it in there and get support here and I'm going to bring the other rook and support nice basic chess i think they will take i hope they're not going to be silly and do this type thing um okay so we can just take it's not clear is it really uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. simple direct moves to remove pieces from the ball strategically there's no other i don't have to pressure myself to actually do any of that i could bring the knight here he can just drop his pawn though if he doesn't we can just drop the knight in that's blocking let's just drop the knight up and see what happens does capture so i'm going to bring the rook up it's probably looking to true yeah it's trading so this could be a draw couldn't it um we can go here and put a check on the king king just comes here and attacks the rook Yeah, this is probably going to be a draw, although they do have a bishop. We have a knight. He, he can come and attack all these businesses, here, can't he? Yeah, maybe I should have thought about that. Let's bring the knight here, defending. And push all majority on this side. <clears throat> so we have a plus one. And the danger to this is this bishops can't bishop can't come there so let's go here and let's push this the only issue is if it comes around here but knights could guard in that area could push but you can just drop down let's move the king Move the king. Don't look like there's much movement going on actually. I think this is a draw. Could push. If he takes, takes. Right. Oh, they've resigned. Woohoo, plus four. And we were looking to push this is talking about a knight move or some sort i'm not interested in a knight move yet but what would happen if i did do that it's not saying anything it's not taking but considering the human nature i don't they were just moving the king around i think they would just take take yeah that's all right and what's it saying bishop no it's on b5 again no let's forget the b5 based on what the opponent was playing so they'll probably move the king back around again looking to stop the pawn and we're probably going to end up doing it wrong in a zugzwang sort of fashion so if we moved here then his king moves here and then we're kind of allowing the bishop to come round the back somehow move the king and say he moves his king here like this yep and at that point then I'm going, ah, I'm getting Zugwanged and the bishop's coming around here. So we would do some sort of manoeuvre, wouldn't we? Would we go and attack these pawns? That probably wouldn't work for us. Knight putting a check on the king seems doable at this point because the king is there. So we can go and hit the king. And then king e7 it's saying. You'd think he'd want to go here, but never mind. King e7. Could push the pawn with a check. 
Jin can't come down, so maybe it goes here. Let's say in d7. d7. And move the king up, can't we? Or do we just do a pawn push? Hmm. Okay, it's looking meaty-ish. We can push her up maybe there. Or maybe do this and then try and do this. Or get the knight dancing. Dancing to come here to attack the pawn and this pawn and coming around. Yeah, I think there's there's maneuvers. Not bad. Nice one. Ten and five. See what we've got to do. Just hit the center. Scrap. Support the pawn. Let's redevelop the knight. Let's put a check on the king, excuse me. Making space for castling. Let's take double the pawns. Bit of, bit of destruction doesn't hurt. Castle. Let's take the bishop. Pawn's got no protection on the end. Push. Let's push. Let's take with a check. And how does this improve? Just bring the queen rook here. So we've got a two on one. If they go rushing castling, we can take the knight for free. We could take, but then we just lose the rook, don't we? Which would be a shame. So we can still keep this position, but the rook will come here to defend. Or we can keep the diagonal attacking the pawn, giving space for the knight to jump here and attack the bishop. Okay, let's keep that. Attacking, attacking. Rook's coming here to defend. Knight comes here attacking the rook. Puts a bit more pressure on the situation as well as attacking the bishop. Okay, knight comes here, still giving them something to think about. So probably just goes to the side because he still wants to protect here. Is there anything else after that? Okay, so there's that. Anything else that they need to think about? Can just take that square bishop, not hitting anything. So I think we'll just take the bishop. Queen probably takes, still keeping the two on one here. It's on the dark square, bishop can't disturb it. Well, it could, but we'd still lose our queen in that. Uh, let's see, anything else? Anything else? Sink the rook up maybe a little bit here. It's going to get castled anyway, isn't it? Do we just bring the bishop out first? Yeah, it's going to get castled. Oh, he's on this pawn as well. His rook is. I don't think we need to worry too much about that. So they go and castle. They've got the protection. We're wanting to try and get that rook up there and we're going to have the tempo let's get the rook up get this pawn rook here so maybe they rush to defend rather than coming for a pawn so it's even stevens this early battle was about for position on the board For a brief moment, I think we were just one tempo or one one sort of movement in time up. Because we've got the rook that's uh, in the centre of the board, really. It's got no place being there. It's defending the, the knight. 
you would expect this, but you probably think the knight can move now because there's no x-ray or anything. So the knight can move. So it's probably coming here to attack the queen because that gives us something to think about. Not doing that, that's weird after all that thinking. What am I missing? So we can take. If the queen takes, yeah, they're probably going to resign now. I'm going to take. Take. I'm trying to own the file. Did mention this pawn, yeah, obviously. And they can greedy munch this one as well. We'll hit this rook if they forget themselves. Or they have done. I know they'd move too quick. So we take that rook. All right, so this looks pretty straightforward now. If they panic, we would get a... Ch Ooh, they haven't. Okay, we, we would have got like a mate. So let's just push our pawn up. Take time in the end game. They're grabbing pawns. That doesn't mean a right lot to me, so let's just go here. Potential back ranky type stuff, potentially. Let's move the king. Let's put the check on. And mate is inevitable. Either this or this. And that is it. Nice one. Ten and oh. That's strange looking opening. Let's push here. Last one for today. Yeah, maybe let's just go like this. Let's just push. Let's get the night out and see what this person's doing. I mean, it's really odd looking play. Let's just um, bring the bishop out. Get the queen. Don't really like it being there, but uh, see what's happening. Dun, 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 dun. Gonna hit the knight. I think he's doing. Strange looking opening, just thought we'll throw things out based off of what they were throwing out. It didn't look like it could bring their pieces together quickly, so I'm thinking we might have won a bit of tempo in terms of position on the board, which it does look like it in a, in essence. I mean, the bishop's still on the back, knight scrabbling around, trying to find position. I don't know why they're taking so long, because they will take, I think, personally. No, they're going queenside castling. Right, okay. Do we lose tempo by not taking? Don't think we do. I think we can give this knight a bit of pressure though. Say, well, what are you actually doing? Goes here, he gets taken. Takes the pawn, takes, goes here, goes here. Let's grab. So for a brief moment, up a minor piece. Can we save the pawn at all? Can put a check on the king, but the bishop comes back and defends. And then the queen's not got a take take after that. Although, oh no, maybe not. Let them have the, let them eat cake. Not going for it just yet. 
So now we have not there because the queen is protecting. Anything for them to think about? No, 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 no. I have to do a waiting move, aren't we, of some sort? Is it moving the king across? Time, eight minutes. Hitting the pawn. Pushes down. Dun, dun, dun. That squares. Boom. Drops. Nope. It's probably still going to drop anyway. Right. Feel hemmed in as in terms of not really got anything clear. Could just push this pawn a little bit. Could hit the pawn. He's probably just going to drop. Oh. If we go here this time, bishop can't go there. So let's bring the queen here. Maybe it can come here. Obviously, it's easily defended. Bishop's going to be taking here anyway. Yeah. So if we get a two on one on the pawn, now the rook just comes and hits the queen. Thinking of this pawn, if we came here. But he's got two pieces defending. Queen on the rim. Is it going to get trapped? Where was the queen? Oh, it was there. So if we come here, get this rook here, tuck in the palm. Mm. Nothing's happening. Everything's easily defended. We're still plus one with the minor piece. Minor piece extra. Now just looking at what the opponent potentially can do. I'm not overly thinking anything now. Yes, they can do X, Y, and Z, but what's happening right here, right now, this area looks like it's it's not strong for us at all but they could start pushing but it's the only half open area for the rooks to play with so it's not a winning thing but we could at least position in readiness still think this is type of thing they're going to be looking at doing maybe supporting with the pawn here bishop's going to be around here queen's going to be coming or attempting so maybe they'll go there to come here <gasps> exact move <laughs> don't you love it when you get it right i do what i do anyway because it's very rare so now They've got one, two, three pieces on there. We've only got two on there. Bishop doesn't have any protection, but we don't have anything attacking that area. Knight can come back here. I think that's because the bishop's currently blocked from attacking. What else do we have? I think the knight, just bring the knight back here, I think. Yeah, it's always happening. And just bring the bishop here. It's going to keep that pressure. Now the queen can come here. Looking for the mate thing. We can go here. Oh, block with the knight, but I don't think I'll go with the knight.
Although the knight would be attacking the the queen, wouldn't it? So let's attack it. Bishop's going, no, I'm going to take you off the board. Or we take with the bishop. Take with the bishop because it's on their rook. It's not playing ball, so we're going to take the queen off the board. And they've resigned. Nice one. 